My guest today is uh, Illinois Rose Bowl team captain. He was an All-American linebacker, one of the greatest to ever play at Illinois. His name is Jay Lehman. What's up, Jay? Tim, I'm doing fantastic. How about yourself? I, I'm, I'm doing well, given the circumstances. You know, we're all having to adjust and uh, adapt a little bit. Uh, what's life been like for you? I, I didn't mention that you're an analyst for BTN, so you spend some of your life still in sports. How is uh, being tucked away in, in the home working out for you? Yeah, it's been a little bit tricky well, on the professional side. You know, with the Big Ten Network, I do a lot of work with spring football in the month of April. Real estate, which I'm in, has been deemed an essential service, but we have to take a lot of precaution. You know, can't show certain homes and, um, you know, wear gloves and masks and everything with it. Uh, and at home, you know, my kids go to public schools around here. Obviously, those are shut down along with other schools. And so my wife has turned into, like, this super teacher uh, of homeschool. And, you know, they've got, like, the programs, like, from, like, 9 to 12, and then, like, the reading time. And then I'm the PE teacher. So, like, from 2.30 <laughs> to 3.15, uh, you know, Mr. Lehman goes out there and tries to do a couple, uh, a couple extras. Usually there's like three things. I do like some stretches and we play football, basically. It is such a bizarre kind of feeling the last month. I know everybody said that. Uh, we're making do, but I think everyone is anxious. I know I am. I just would love to go to a restaurant and hang out with people. Yep. Even if I didn't talk to anybody, I'd love to sit there and eat. I'd love to go to El Toro or somewhere or Papa Dell's or Little Porgies, which I've been missing horribly. Um, and just talk to some people. So hopefully that gets back to normal soon. So what are you doing at home then? Like when you're confined to the four walls of your house, right. are you a Netflix family, Hulu? Are you playing board games? Um, are you uh, so, doing push-ups? Like what, yeah, what's the thing? Yeah, so for me, you know, Monopoly, the classic Monopoly game is the never-ending game, right? I mean, it, I mean it, it can literally go on forever. And so I got tired of setting up games every night. So what we did was we were like, well, let's set up Monopoly. I'll help my five-year-old. Uh, she'll help the eight-year-old. And we just play six rolls a night. So you roll the okay. dice six times, and, you know, you buy a property or two. But you never have – you just leave it set up. So you play a game every night. But it's always set up. And, you know, I feel any pressure to, like, finish the game, you know. But if they, they feel like they're doing a the game. So – we're, do, we're doing that, number one. Um, and number two, I think Disney Plus subscriptions have skyrocketed, oh. right? <laughs> no question, right? I mean, yeah. like, between, like, Frozen 2 and Aladdin, the real person movie, like the one that came out, uh, I think it probably watched those 30 times with my three-year-old. So I have heard a lot of uh, guys have uh, projects that they're trying to work on these days. Now, I don't know if you get those from your wife or they're just sort of self-inflicted, like I'm going to organize the garage or throw away these clothes. Uh, do you have any projects you're in the middle of or are you that kind of guy or do you pay That's other people to question. do it? question. So my father was extremely handy, could do everything. Unfortunately, I was just his gopher as a kid. Hey, give me that ladder. Hey, give me <laughs> right. that thing. He never taught me how to actually do anything. I am one of the least handy people I know. My wife loves to do projects and yard work. I mean, if she, if we get a brand new TV, she's setting it up because I can't figure out how to plug in all the cords, right? Um, but she convinced me that we should get mulch. So we got some mulch from Country Arbors and, um, you know, had it dropped off. And so I did mulching, okay? I did clean out the garage. But, like, we, we had, like, a shutter fall off because, like, these wind storms and stuff, like, I don't know how to put that back on. Like, I mean, is that like screws or something? Like, well, I, I got to call somebody to help me out with that. So that's the difficult part. Uh, man, I, I appreciate your time today. I hope you're staying fairly sane. And uh, we're trying to do Everybody's trying to do the same thing. I think it's fascinating, though, to find out what everybody's doing to, to try to pass the time and uh, keep themselves from uh, going completely stir crazy. So I'm glad to hear you're, you're doing fairly well. And I do think it's a great idea that you guys are doing this. Uh, I think to get a, you know, a little snapshot of home during this unique time. Uh, it shows a little bit more of the person that people are real. And, you know, it's the first time I get to wear flannel on TV ever, you yeah. know? You know, I'm in a hoodie, so, like, I'm I going mean, casual. Like, I mean, this is like, home. Right. It's like, thank goodness I get to wear I get to wear this because that's what I want to wear. But, you know. And neither right, of us man. is wearing makeup either, right? So No, and we still look decent. At least I think we do. <laughs> hey. Except for the hair on my neck and yours. <laughs> right. Nobody can see that. We're okay. good. <laughs>